Good morning. It's again time for Stuff God Said and wants us to keep on saying. It is the third uh, week of Advent and we are at uh, Tuesday of the third week of Advent. And for our uh, Advent devotion uh, for this morning, uh, I'm going to read from uh, Acts chapter 17, the 28th verse. For in Christ Jesus we live and move and have our being. May the Lord add a blessing to the word. You know, uh, the thought came to me that we are, as this part of the creation, as human beings, we like to feel like we're so self-sufficient. You know, the, the world calls us to stand on our own two feet and do all the right things. Even from the time we were born. I know my parents, you know, they go, oh, look, big boy, you're a big boy, you managed to eat with a fork without stabbing yourself in the face. What an accomplishment. Or they said, you know, you cleaned your plate, or you chose your clothes, or you went out and you played a good game of baseball. You look, yeah, you're the man, you know, you can do that. And they praised that self-sufficiency. But we were never called just to be self-sufficient, and we need to remember that. And I think in the very way that the Savior chose to come to this earth, as a baby in the manger teaches us that. It was a baby in a manger that Jesus chose to to be exposed to the whole world. The baby that needed his mother's breast or he would not be fed. The baby lying in the manger that needed his mother's hands or he couldn't have his diaper changed. The baby lying in the manger that needed his mother's arms so that she could cradle him and hold him close to her and feel her warmth and her presence and the comfort that comes from that. Surely that's a lesson for us. You know, when we are uh, in pain, when we are suffering, when we feel uh, hurting, uh, sometimes people have a tendency to crawl off into the bushes like a wounded animal. We're not to do that. We are to come together as a people of God and recognize that God is with us in Jesus Christ. And to talk to our Lord, just as I'm talking to you, just as we talk to each other, Recognize that there is comfort and healing through those who also love the Lord. And we just never meant to be isolated. It's Christmas, and let's come together as a people and as a family of God to care for, to help, and, and to have compassion with each other. May God bless us this day. It's a great day to be alive. Amen.